Hello, um, for the show demo, um, demo today, we're just going to do a very simple wire work form, which are these little cat frame earrings. Um, and because for time, we're just going to show you how to manipulate and make the frame. And then um, as an extra bit of bonus, um, we're going to upload a slight more detailed layered form of the cat earrings, which you're going to be able to make um, using the kit um, from the um, Monkeys and Mangoes kit, showing a few more design elements added in. But today we're just going to show you how to make this in the show. And if you want to go to YouTube later on and have a look at the more complex form, uh, please go ahead. Um, in the main video, we're going to show you, I'll give you the details of the kit and all the tools you'll need. But you'll basically need um, chain nose, round nose, flush cutter pliers, a small face hammer and a steel block and the and design um, elements from the wire work and beads from the kit today and um, work from there. Oh yes, I'll also show in the more complex video how to make the ear wires and jump rings and things like that will go and match with the earrings you're going to make. So we're just going to go and make this simple cat frame now and I hope you enjoy. So in this shortened video we're just going to show you how, you, how to make the um, little cat frame, very simple frame. Um, and in the full length demo, which will be uploaded to YouTube, you'll learn how to make the entire earring with the little face features and the little fishes and the earring findings and the jump rings. Here are the templates um, for the uh, little cat earrings um, for both the simple um, form and for the slightly more layered uh, form. Um, we're going to be uploading again, as I repeat, the, the full YouTube video for the, the more detailed cat onto the YouTube. But for the show, we're just going to use this little template here um, to make up the cat frame for the very simple earrings. There's also a template that will be um, that you can use for the earring finding, and that demonstration will be on the YouTube video. So basically, if you want to take a screenshot of this um, and print it out to the size that you want, there's a ruler for your scale, you can use it to print out your, your templates. First of all, we're going to make the little cat frame with 30 centimetre length of um, one millimetre wire. I'm going to make a little loop at one end with using the tips of my round nose pliers at one end of the wire to make a little tiny circular loop. And first of all, it starts off like a P with a little straight end. And you just trim that off and to make the little, little circle a bit more circular. And then I'm going to go back in again with the round nose pliers and just carry on to start to form the spiral. And I do quite a, a loose spiral. So you can see I'm just pulling the wire around into a spiral with a little gap between the wire that you formed. I can if you place it against the diagram, you can see the spacing, the type of spacing that you're going to need. And so actually it might need to be around the other way. There we go, like that. And you can either choose now just to pull this around uh, like so, um, put it around using the diagram as a, as a guide, or you can bring your chain nose pliers in and just form a bit more of the spiral by pulling the wire around. And you can put that onto the diagram. So you can do it either way, really. I'm just going to place my finger over the um, the wire spiral already made and just pull it around the diagram to help me. Um, because basically, it's all right if you're making one pendant because um, the cat spiral doesn't have to be exactly the same on each each area each uh, for a pendant. But if you're making earrings, you need to make them as mirror image as possible. So um, this spiral is, is there for you to use to manipulate to make sure it's the same for each little cat that you make. So you can see how I've used little movements of the chain nose pliers just to make the spiral. Now um, we're ready to form the rest of the body. So I'm pulling the wire around and the, the body using the diagram as a guide, then bringing chain nose pliers in to start to manipulate the side of the body. And I'm going to move the diagram around just to make it a little bit easier. You need to work from the side and you can do this yourself as well rather than make it awkward. So I'm just going to use the chain nose pliers just to start to, to shape the little cat's body around. The pointy ears. You can take the um, wire off the diagram 
if you want to make these ears properly pointy. So I've made a, a bend to judge where it is. I'm going to take it off the diagram and just push the wire downwards to form the ear and it'll clamp either side and it just makes it a little bit more pointy. Then opening it back out again just helps to, to do that. Then you need to do another little push upwards to start to form the top of the head and the loop and another sharp bend upwards uh, to form the top loop at the top of the head. Now you can bring in the round nose pliers again insert them just here and just to form that loop and pull the wire around you can see that happening there place it over the diagram just to make sure you've got it just move the diagram to place in the right position yes that's lovely and the size is the same again if you're making a pendant it doesn't matter so much um you know that you you've got it a little bit smaller or bigger it doesn't matter but if you're making earrings you're trying to make things as symmetrical as possible um, if you're also, as a tip, making earrings, just make sure, as I form these ears, um, that you, I tend to make them at the same time. So I make two frames and then uh, work through all the stages at the same time. So it's really easy to sort of keep them looking similar when you're doing things like that. So you can see I made another ear and I'm just going to work round making the side of the, of the cheek. There we go. <laughs> just take a bit more time than I am just to make sure that this is all the same size and, and really mirror image. And I'll show you in a minute what the frame should look like. So I pulled it around. And then I want to use, using the diagram as a guide, use some flush cutter pliers just to cut the end of the tail. So we're just going to move on to the next stage. I'll show you the finished frames in just a moment at the next section of the video. So here you can see um, I've got a completed cat um, frame um, and I've made another one. And to make it sort of mirror image for the earring, all you need to do is, is turn it over. So it's made using the same template, but just turned over to the other side. Um, we need to make that cat's tail nice and curly, so we're going to use very similar techniques to making the spiral. Um, so what I'm going to do is just insert the round nose pliers to the very tip of the tail. Use that little turn of the round nose pliers. Cut trimming off the end. Trimming off the end and then make that little spiral. And do the same for the other side. Just make sure you spiral down to the same level. So a little tight little spiral like so. And you should end up with two little cats um, ready to make earrings. One will be facing one way one facing the other way. We're just going to hammer those and um, I'll show you how to do that now. Well, the only thing you've got to remember when you're hammering is just to remember to hammer um, one cat one way and one cat the other way. So bring in my um, sort of two ounce hammer. You can use a larger hammer if you like, because you're hammering the whole shape. Um, so I can use the larger face hammer on this case. Get a steel block and I'm just going to hammer the whole cat. So um, just make sure one's facing the other way, one's facing the frontwards and the right and left. So Hammer the whole shape. I always manage to, to short the lights when I do this. Done it again. You can see I've hammered the whole shape um, left and right. Just get that light looking a little bit better. And um, if you actually turn it over, this is the side that's going to be the front. So all the hammer marks appear at the back of the earrings. And you've got two little cats ready to make up. Um, your set of earrings. So here you can see um, I've got a completed cat um, frame um, and I've made another one and to make it sort of mirror image for the earring all you need to do is is turn it over. So it's made using the same template but just turned over to the other side. Um, we need to make that cat's tail nice and curly so we're going to use very similar techniques to making the spiral. Um, so what I'm going to do is just insert the round nose pliers to the very tip of the tail. Use that little 
turn of the round nose pliers, cut, trimming off the end, trimming off the end, and then make that little spiral. And do the same for the other side. Just make sure you spiral down to the same level. So a little tight little spiral like so. And you should end up with two little cats um, ready to make earrings. One will be facing one way and one facing the other way. We're just going to hammer those and um, I'll show you how to do that now. Well, the only thing you've got to remember when you're hammering is just to remember to hammer um, one cat one way and one cat the other way. So bring in my um, sort of two ounce hammer. You can use a larger hammer if you like because you're hammering the whole shape. Um, so I can use the larger face hammer on this case. Get a steel block and I'm just going to hammer the whole cat. So um, just make sure one's facing the other way, one's facing frontwards and right and left. So hammer the whole shape. I always manage to, to short the lights when I do this. Done it again. See I've hammered the whole shape um, left and right. Just get that light looking a little bit better. And um, if you actually turn it over, this is the side that's going to be the front. So all the hammer marks appear at the back of the earrings. And you've got two little cats ready to make up. Um, your set of earrings. So we've made um, two, say two images, mirror image cat frames um, using the cat frame template um, and you can just use these on their own adding on to an earring finding as shown. I'll just show you how to add it on and in a full um, length video you'll just have, you'll show how to you make the whole earring um, with the fishes and the eyes and everything else like that. But in today's show demo, you've just got a shortened version just to get you started. And if you want to go and see the full video, please go onto YouTube. So just I've just opened up little shepherd hook earrings, um, earring finding, like a little loop at the end, the chain those pliers and close it up again. And just to make sure it's secure. And then what I've done then, it's just pinch this little loop just to make sure it doesn't open up any further and just reshape the, the earring a little bit with my fingers. Um, there we go to help it look. And there's a, your little cat earring um, that you can use and wear as it is. Let's just shape, reshape it. There we go. There's your little cat earring um, already done. And if you want to go onto YouTube um, and see the full video um please go ahead and you can actually have a um, work you'll be able to work through making these slightly more detailed little cat earrings <laughs> 